Why, hello there! I, of course, am the Awesome Soul, and I am sure that you've noticed that I've done a few videos on Drone. And one thing I have noticed in the comment section of my videos, as well as the Drone Discord, is a lot of the same questions kind of pop up. And these questions, for the most part, are actually answered already on the FAQ section of the website. So what I have done for you guys is grab all of the questions and condense them down to their base point. The bare minimum information you need to know to answer these burning questions. So without further ado, let's blast through some questions. Number one, what are the minimum hardware specifications? We are still optimizing the game, but we know it will be a DirectX 11 game. The user settings for graphics will be extensive to help lower spec users. Question number two, is this going to be like No Man's Sky? No. There is no infinite procedurally generated universe. We provide the creation tools to the players so they can create their own arenas in a defined space on many different planet slash arena templates. Question number three. Won't the player base be divided if you have different galaxies, solar systems, and planets to go to? To find different planets slash maps, you can search for them in a list and travel to them instantly to test it out. Players can also rate maps they like, and the best will rise to the top. Number four, will the drone components slash blocks have a shared health pool? No, each component or block will have its own individual durability value, depending on the stat distributions, and can be damaged and destroyed separately. Number five, what kind of pricing slash monetization will drone use? We are not sure yet, but it will most likely be a paid game. One thing is for sure though, we will stay away from any pay-to-win models. Number six, when can we get our hands on a playable version of Drone? We are unsure, but we need to have a successful crowdfunding campaign first. Question number seven, when will the crowdfunding campaign go live? As soon as we have enough followers to confidently start it without fear of underachieving the minimum goal. Only with a large and interested community can the crowdfunding campaign be successful. Our current goal is to have at least 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. So you know what that means. Go and subscribe to their YouTube channel if you haven't already. Number eight, what does community-driven game mean? It means that we supply the players with the tools to create environments, arenas, drones, and even a rule set editor. We intend to listen very carefully to any suggestions ideas, and feedback that the community has to offer. So basically, it's all about working with the community. Question number nine. How do you intend to solve potential balancing problems? All offensive and defensive parts are good against some things, but bad against others. Kind of in a rock, paper, scissors way. Parts also have different cost and stat values, so you can't use all of them at the exact same time. And you will need to adapt your drone to each different environment, like a lava planet or an ice planet. Switching drones mid-match might be needed, so it's good to have multiple drones for different purposes. Obviously, we will step in to further balance if needed. Number 10, which platform is the game going to be on? We have not fully decided this yet. PC definitely comes first. If the crowdfunding is very successful, we will consider porting drone to consoles, Mac, and Linux. In no particular order there. And finally, question number 11. Which input devices will the game support? We focus on keyboard and mouse during the creation process, but all controls are mappable to any device that you would want, such as a controller or even a joystick. So there you have it, hopefully that answered at least some of your burning questions. If you have not checked out the FAQ for yourself, I would recommend doing so if you want a little bit more elaboration on these points. Link, of course, is in the description, and I definitely have something very special cooking up to answer some more of your guys' burning questions. So stay tuned for that. Not quite sure when that will drop, but subscribe here, and you will be notified when that video comes out. So with that, guys, I, of course, have been the Awesome Soul. I thank you so very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care.